Hi guys, thanks for joining me again. I am Stephanie Hicks from Stephanie Hicks Co. I am a confidence and style coach. I help women create a wardrobe that honors who they are so that they feel beautiful and confident from the inside out. Continuing on in our body identity series today, we are going to talk about the circle shape, also known as the apple shape. With the circle shape, your bust, shoulders, um, hips and waistline are all a fairly around the same width, but your shoulders and hips might be slightly more narrow. I created a video that gives you three tips on how to dress the body, any body. Our goal is to create balance within the body. And when we talk about balance, we are talking vertical and horizontal balance. While you may understand creating balance and your body identity, you may be wondering, well, how do I do that? And with what clothes for what body shape? So that's what this series is about. It's about which items you can wear for your body shape that will help you to create balance. And of course, I would love to start out by saying that everybody's body is different. So you try these tips and what works for you, you take that with you, and what doesn't work for you, you leave it there. The three categories that I would like to cover for what works best for each body identity is tops, bottoms, and dresses. I feel like these are the most general items that people would be wearing. Anything else would be a little bit more specific and maybe a little bit more one-to-one. -one. Okay, so starting with dresses for the circle body type, the goal is to create visual balance. So what you want to do with the circle shape is to bring the eye to the areas that you want the eye brought to and away from the areas that you don't want attention on. So you need to create a waistline for the body as well as embellishing around the shoulders and around the hips. But the main goal is to create a defined waistline. For dresses for the circle body identity, you want to create a waistline. So the empire dress will help you to create a waistline. The wrap dress will help you. The wrap dress is actually good for any, every body shape because it absolutely helps to define a waistline and brings the eye to the center of the body. Off the shoulder dresses will be great for you as well is making sure that you have like a belt or something to help to create a waistline. And then also you can use a bias cut dress. A bias cut dress, actually um, because it is cut on the bias, drapes the body a lot better than other dresses. The um, fabric of the dress actually helps to create the form of the body because of the way that it dress, uh, drapes on you. The wrap dress, you want to go with a more fitted wrap dress because it helps to create a waistline for you as well as with the V-neck of the, of the dress, it brings the eye to the center of the body. The off the shoulder dress is a great dress for the circle body identity as well because it bears the shoulder and bare skin actually brings the eye to that area. The empire waist dress brings the waistline higher, more towards the smaller part of your body, making the waistline more defined. Of course, the wrap top, just like the wrap dress, will help to bring the eye to the center of the body. But also with the wrap top, there's a little bit more fabric towards the bottom of the top, giving you um, a, little, a little bit more shape in that area because the waist is more defined. A V-neck is going to be your friend because it brings the eye to the center of the body. The peplum top, very similar to the wrap top, um, already has a defined waistline. And so 
it helps to give you that waistline but also has the fabric underneath the waistline to create um, uh, more of that hourglass shape. One other top is the dolman sleeve top. And so this top is going to give you a little more volume in the shoulder, bringing the eye up towards the top of the body, giving the illusion of more shape at the top and then um, more of a defined waist. There are four types of pants that will probably look the best on you. This is not to say that you can't wear any of the other types. It just means that you'll really have to learn how to create visual balance with those other types. The easiest and the most flattering silhouette for you will be the slim fit jean, the um, boot cut jean, the straight leg jean, and the flared jean. Now all of these jeans carry the bulk of their shape or the bulk of their uh, fabric towards the bottom of the pants, which helps to give that a vertical and horizontal visual balance for you. Again, this doesn't mean that you can't wear a skinny fit jean or leggings or anything like that. It just means that you will have to learn how to create visual balance um, in a different way with those pants. Generally for the circle body identity, high waist jeans are going to work really well for you because you are trying to define the waist. So the high rise jeans or a high waisted jean is going to bring the eye up towards the natural waistline and give it a little bit more definition. Now the only, there are a couple of body uh, shapes that this does not work well for. So um, someone with a short torso or that is a little more petite in size will have to um, try out the high rise, but if the high rise does not work for you, then go with a mid rise. The high rise may have the tendency to make you look like you have a shorter torso or make you look shorter. If you go with a mid rise, that can give you a little bit more room in the torso, giving you better balance. And then the last thing that you want to try out when trying to define the waist, which is the ultimate goal uh, to create the visual balance for a circle body identity, you want to use a belt because belts <laughs> help to create a waistline or at least to draw the eye to the area that you want. So making sure that the belt is not too thick for a um, short torso or too skinny for a long torso. Um, and then also making sure that the belt has some type of um, embellishment on it, which, which will bring, bring the eye to that area giving you the look of a defined waist and creating visual balance. Pants that have the belts already or gives the illusion of that will be like the paper bag pant that already has the belt um, or something where you tie at the waist already. You can do that because you can create a bow at the waist and that brings the eye to the waist. Ultimately, finding outfits that flatter our body identity or our body shape is going to help us to feel more confident and more beautiful in the clothes that we wear. When you feel more confident and beautiful in your clothes, then that radiates out towards the world. Beauty from the inside out. But that's all that I have for you today. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day. Bye.